Are you wondering how to structure your SBO XR Master? Now, as you can see on the screen, I created two valuable mock exams written by myself, tailoring the September 2024 The Beagle's Case. Now, in this video, I would like to share with you of how you will structure your answer. Now, of course, my tip would be this. All of the answers would be within the question and the pre seen material. And of course, bringing some of them from a textbook, I will show you exactly how to do that. And of course, there will be no correct answers in the SBO exam. So just to make sure that be brave and don't leave any requirements blank. So using this approach, you can score very high in the SBA exam. I've got proven track record over the years of helping students pass the SBA exams. Now, let's get started. This is the mock exam two I created, and five exhibits and three tasks here. What I would do is to share with you my task number one, or known as the question one. Before we move any further, Let's read through the exhibit one. Now, the reason I've written the exhibit one was taken from the real case, Wuba and Grab. So, in a few years ago, the Wuba sold the operation parts of it to Grab, which is his competitor. Now, I've copied that case and integrating within the Beagle's case. Now, Beagle is like Grab, and Uber was like Zembi, which is the largest competitor in our country. Now, uh, from a CEO, okay, saying to you something, that following the acquisition of the Zembi Southeast Asian operations, all right, so this means that Beagle buys Zembi's operation. And we've got several cultural stuff we need to merge all together. Now, before we move any further, let me take you through to task number one that I created for you. You should present it in the report and explain how culture can be integrated from the business combination. Now, I've listed the PS cross mnemonic, which means the culture web, and I've given you seven marks, and you need to tell me that each of the paragraph, okay, paradigm, you need to write one point, or one small paragraph, symbol, one small paragraph, and that's it. Now, what I want you to think about would be this. What do I mean by culture? Culture is just to be the way we do things around here. So this means that when we enter into this company, we are thinking about we should do things in this way, not that way. Because if we do things in that way, we will be punished or we will be criticised by our colleague. So it's just to be shaping your mindset of doing something. It's what I mean by culture. Now, of course, when you buy the Zenbi company, you can't simply, okay, what is Zenbi? Let me go back to the pre seen case. No, because everything will be changing on the exam day. The best way, as I said before, very importantly, going back to the exhibit, which means the unseen material given by the examining team. Now, we are told that Zembi's platform, okay, it's the second sentence, operated under a result-driven, aggressive competition strategy, often prioritizing market share over driver satisfaction. Okay, I've listed all these keywords out because what I want you to know is this. Before you write any particular answers, you need to plan your answer. You can't use the freestyle approach. I will show you how to do that later on. But from the unseen, for example, we are talking about the Zembi company. 
is focusing on the result-driven mission. So this means that, as we can say, in terms of its competition, market share, and driver satisfaction. So this means that, okay, we encourage drivers to compete with each other. If you have more transactions with the customer, you can have more bonuses. At the same time, if you have low transactions with customers, you have less bonuses. So this means that some of the customers may not be happy about the service that, it, they, that the uh, driver provides in most circumstances, because perhaps that we've got only eight hours working within a particular day. So more transactions means that we need to complete the ride as soon as possible. So the customer service quality may be lowered. At the same time, driver may not be particularly happy about that because they work very hard in order to get the commission. And aggressive competition also means that the same big company, for example, Uber, needs to gain the market share. And of course, would like to first say to attract a lot of drivers to the platform by giving them lots of bonuses and commission. But after that, we'd like to cut the commission as our platform is now mature. Now, having all these bits and pieces, competition, profit, and even high pressure environments that leading to employee resistance are given in the unseen. So these are my answers. And of course, which is quite different from Beagle, because currently Beagle, if you go back to the pre scene, if you take it through to the mission, for example, yes, it provides affordable, accessible, sustainable transport and bringing people, businesses, communities all together and focusing on the safety rather than just the competition. We focus on everyone should be happy, in other words. So this is what I mean by the community driven. In our pre scene, you know that we will need to rate the drivers and of course, the customer will need to rate the drivers and the experience. And of course, we are talking about, from a Beagle case point of view, driver-friendly environment. But as we can see there, if we were to merge with Zenby, that we may have three particular directions. Firstly, we can stick to Beagle, its mission, unchanged which means that we'll need to change the Zenbees one. Secondly, we may completely move to Zenbees mission, result driven, or why not keep a balance between these two? I mean, in your answer, there'll be no correct answers at all when answering the cultural related question. But you need to have a clear direction in your mindset first, which direction are you going to be choosing in your answer. Now, if I were you, I would like to choose number three. I would like to balance these two. So this means that, okay, I would like to keep the existing culture, changing some of them, but keeping parts of them unchanged. For example, competition-based, keep them. Why not? in the overseas operation. Why not? But at the same time, I would like to give more benefit, for example, as you can see on my screen, introducing like performance related commission of bonuses or benefits that we can pay to those drivers. For example, we can reimburse part of their insurance fee to those drivers as well. Okay, so all these things that we can do, balancing it, but at the same time, keeping our Beagle's mission unchanged, which means the community-based uh, culture unchanged. Now, how can we structure 
my answer then. Now, what I would do is that, I mean, there will be lots of different answers that you can write on the exam day and you can still gain the full marks. But please do remember, as a starting point, is highly recommended that you will use a subheading and to tell the marker what you're talking about there. If you're not using a subheading, absolutely fine there. But firstly, I would like to start from the textbook knowledge, which means the first sentence. Instead of summarizing what we've learned from the pre -Z. For example, I would say to the marker that paradigm is just to be mission and values. And of course, you can use different definitions from your study test, absolutely fine though. But as long as you're conveying your idea correctly to the marker, irrespective of what definitions that you use, you will still get, get the full marks. Now, that will be the first step. So this means that I would like to take this from the study test. Firstly, which means to showcase my knowledge. Always as a step one. Now, step two, when talking about paradigm, from my perspective, is the hardest part uh, in the cultural analysis and liking symbols and control systems, that kind of stuff. Now, what I would say is that my direction will be to balance. Could balance result driven culture in Zambi with my own community driven culture? Keep it nice, short, and simple and you will score higher in the exam. Okay, that will be my second point, which means you tell me your point. Now here, I'm not saying that, I'm not adopting another approach like, okay, Zambi is rubbish. R is the best. R is rubbish, Zambi is the best. No, I'm not saying that. I would like to showcase my point. What do you want? I want to balance these two because I care about the integration with certain be a problem there. So I care about this. I showcase my point instead of persuading you or trying to convey to you this is my emotion, this is what I like. No. Okay, now what I would do, my approach in the SBL related to such questions that have no correct answers, I would dip into it. Now, I mean, you said that you need to balance the culture. How? Well, from my perspective, balance means to keep something or to give up something at the same time, but we need to keep a balance between these two, make sure that we balance. So I would say that I would like to retain the driver's interest or even to improve it, which means, yes, with additional bonuses paid would help. Now, having this point, yes, you will score the full mark. Now, one next to that. So make sure that simple sentences, simple idea would help. You do not really have to go into that much detail. For example, how Uber did in real life, how Grab did in real life, because that would be a, just to be a completely waste of your time. And it will not give you extra marks by quoting these real companies. But that does not necessarily mean that you can completely ignore the real case scenario by focusing on your freestyle emotion that's saying that, okay, this is good, this is bad, I would like to persuade you to do this because I think this is good. No, because the aim of the SBO exam is to make sure that you are given the case and you will think about the issues in a practical manner. Practical manner does not necessarily mean that you don't know about the industry stuff. It's absolutely not enough from my perspective for September 2024 exam just to read through the case without knowing a few companies in real life because the exam link team will certainly base their questions on the 
real life cases. I've shown you in a last video already. Please have a go at that. Now, knowing a bit, not knowing in a deeply manner would help. Because when talking about culture, you know what we are talking about. So, in my course, in my mock exam, I would like to shape your mindset within a few hours just to make sure that you get into the management role in this company as soon as possible. Instead of simply talking about the generic strategic models, if you have a go at the past exam questions, those are not important at all nowadays. I would say that not important at all. Because if you see in the past exam questions that not many questions or not many requirements touched on those generic parts. But make sure that you focus on the right thing to maximise the chances that you can pass this difficult paper. And of course, I can help. Right, best of luck with your SBO exam in September. Bye-bye. APC, accounting for your future.